What's up everyone and welcome to Labs with LAM. Today we're going to be taking a look at the line spectra of various elements. As always, make sure you've completed your pre-lab work and taken a look through the procedure before watching this video. But if you're all good to go, then let's get our observation tables and let's do this thing. First off, let's introduce the tools we're going to be using today. This fancy contraption here is called a spectral viewer. You'll notice that on one end there's a hole with a lens in it. That's the end that you're going to be looking through. On the other end, there's a single slit. This helps to limit and focus the amount of light entering the viewer. So I'm going to give this to you, but you can only use it when I tell you to, okay? Great. Moving on, this giant box is a spectral tube power supply, and these interestingly shaped tubes are the spectral tubes. We have three here. Hydrogen, helium, and argon. We'll also be looking at a fluorescent light bulb later on, as well as taking a quick peek outside, but we'll get there when we get there. So we're going to start with hydrogen, placing the spectral tube very carefully into the power supply, and we're going to turn it on. You should be able to see the spectral tube glowing. You can now take that spectral viewer I gave you earlier and aim it right here, and you should be able to see hydrogen's line spectrum. So do you see it? Uh, you might have to adjust or rotate your viewer a little bit. Do you see it now? Okay, good. Now you can take down whatever observations you need to take down and when you're done, you can put the viewer away. All right, great. I hope you had fun with those viewers. If you need some more time with your observations, you can always go back as many times as you need. But for now, let's go ahead and turn this thing off. You do need to be careful when taking the spectral tubes out because they can get quite hot very quickly. So again, that was hydrogen and we'll do helium next. Again, make sure to be very careful as these spectral tubes can be fairly fragile. Notice that when we turn this on, even with just the naked eye, you can see that the color here is different from hydrogen. But let's see what we can see with the viewers. Okay, that was quick. You must be getting pretty good with those viewers. Again, just being extra careful taking these out, making sure they're not too hot. And we'll do this one more time with argon. Here we go. Just focus your viewers right in the middle here. Okay, easy peasy. No troubles there, right? So I guess we're all done with our three spectral tubes, but I thought it might be fun to take a look at some everyday objects too. So if we just take a look up with your spectral viewers, let's see what the line spectrum of a fluorescent light bulb looks like. Yeah, that's pretty neat, eh? Okay, one more thing just for fun. Let's just swivel around and see what the outside looks like. Now, what you're seeing is the line spectrum for sunlight. Of course, we're never going to look directly at the sun, but since the sunlight is so plentiful outside, we can still see clearly the energy that's being emitted. All right, so with that, we should have all the information we need. Good luck. If you find that you need a little extra help, please feel free to check out my other videos for tips and tricks on how to succeed in school. And as always, thanks for learning with Lamb.